I was fortunate that Professor Bliss agreed to supervise me as a doctoral student when I came to the University of Toronto, and it's from him that I learned what good History of Medicine scholarship was all about. I was born and, and grew up in the little Ontario town of Kingsville on the shores of Lake Erie. It was a, a classic small Canadian town and probably the single most important factor in my life was that my dad was a classic small town general practitioner. He was Doc Bliss. He had a big practice in Kingsville. His offices were part of the house and uh, from the time I was an infant, medicine and uh, doctoring were an absolutely essential part of our house. As a little boy, when anybody asked me what I wanted to be, I would say I want to be a doctor. At first was a science student, and then I uh, became interested in studying philosophy, and I finally settled on history, um, which became my life's vocation. Well, he's one of the very few historians of Canada ever to become a, uh, what we might call a superstar of uh, the international world of history. Not for studying Canadian history, but for studying medical history. At the same time, he's one of the leading historians of Canada. His major reputational contribution, of course, was his book, The Discovery of Insulin, which stands as a landmark contribution in history, medical history, and bioscience. Professor Bliss's tremendous scholarship is what he's most well known for. I think is a tremendous accomplishment in terms of the research and the depth of the detail. I thought that I was writing a book mainly about the struggle for credit among the discoverers of insulin and that became very much part of the book and that was an exciting and, and really interesting story. He is a tremendous storyteller in terms of focusing on the individual and the event, but also bringing us into the larger context for the history of medicine world. And I found the insulin story uh, expanding into a great epic in medical history, an epic involving the coming of medicine's ability to offer something like salvation. He's one of the leading public intellectuals in Canada. He's one of the great teachers at the University of Toronto. And he's a superb researcher. He writes well. He's the complete package as a historian. The stories that he's able to tell us, both in detail and scope, whether it be the discovery of insulin, or Sir William Osler, or the neurosurgeon Harvey Cushing, or in 1885, Montreal with the outbreak of plague and more, I think is what engages people, brings people in, and sees the value of history. Over the years, I found that there was so much interesting stuff to write about uh, the history of medicine from a Canadian standpoint that by the end of my career I really thought I was a medical historian and my most important books by far are my medical ones. And see the connections that he can make between people's responses to disease, the role that science can play, the role of research, the idea that our past medical history with its missteps as well as advances can take away some messages that people can resonate with and perhaps apply to some current challenges that we're facing today. Medicine is a window that takes you from small town Canada to the Nobel Archive and that's where my medical research took me. His scholarship most of us can only aspire to writing as well as Professor Bliss does. He brings to life a lot of these events of the past and can make relevance for us today. World-renowned scholar, public intellectual, creative writer, and inspiring teacher, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Michael Bliss.